What's up YouTube, Saf here on Super Saf TV and in this video I'm going to be comparing the specs of the new Google Nexus 7 or Nexus 7 Generation 2 if you want to call it to the iPad mini. Now the original Nexus 7 was a very very popular tablet and a bit of a game changer I would say. There was other tablets in that form factor before the Nexus 7 but they were never as popular neither were they at the price that the Nexus 7 came in at with those specs. Now despite what Steve Jobs said about the smaller form factor of tablets Apple did announce the iPad mini and that's also been very very popular. Now the main reason behind this comparison is I know the iPad mini is slightly older now but uh, we are not expecting the next iPad mini for some time, a few months at least, some are saying up until the end of this year. So no doubt there's going to be lots of people out there in a position to decide you know which tablet to go for is it worth going for the new Google Nexus 7 or the iPad mini and what's the difference between these two well uh, do hit that thumbs up button and let's find out in this head-to-head -head spec comparison so let's start off with the screen size 7 inches on the new Google Nexus 7 the same as the original Nexus 7 the iPad mini 7.9 inches so almost 8 inches so you do have a larger screen on the iPad mini more real estate there now in terms of resolution the iPad mini 1024 by 768 so you've got a 4 by 3 ratio on there and that's 162 ppi if you compare that to the new Google Nexus 7, you've got a 1920 by 1200 pixel resolution, which is absolutely awesome. And that's 323 PPI. Now the resolution specs speak for themselves here, but the new Nexus 7 has almost doubled the PPI to the iPad mini. The PPI of the iPad mini, one of the biggest disappointments of the device, no doubt about that. A lot of people wanted a retina display, but the, the Nexus 7 it just takes it out of the water. It takes it to a new level. It's the highest PPI of any tablet out there right now. And it's also higher than the iPad 4, which is 264 PPI. So it's even higher than the retina displays that you've got on there. So very, very impressive here. And because you've got that 16 by 10 ratio, the 1080p videos, 16 by 9, are gonna look really, really good on here. The thing that I personally not like too much about the iPad mini is because it's four by three, when I'm watching videos on there, I've got black bars on top and bottom, which I'm not too fond of. I, I prefer having that full screen taken up by videos when I'm watching them. So that's the difference here. Again, something that hopefully the new iPad will have a higher, much higher resolution screen, the new iPad mini, let's hope for that. Now in terms of the dimensions, they're roughly about the same height. The new Nexus 7 is smaller in terms of width, quite a bit actually, roughly about 20 millimeters smaller in width. And that's because it does have a smaller screen, but you've got a more compact device. So in your hand, it's gonna fit slightly better. However, the iPad mini is a smaller in terms of thickness. It's a roughly about 1.5 millimeters thinner than the new Nexus 7. Now in terms of the weight, the iPad mini 308 grams, pretty good weight here and a pretty lightweight here as well. The Nexus 7, 290 grams. Uh, it, the previous one was 340 and Hugo Barra has specifically said that it's 50 grams lighter than the original. So 290 grams roughly we're looking at really, really light here. So it's about 18 grams lighter than the iPad mini. Now there has been other, you know, you may have seen some other articles saying that it's 318 grams, but personally I'm gonna take my word from Google themselves. Now looking at the internals, what's powering these devices. In terms of the processors, the iPad has the dual core A5 1 gigahertz Apple A5 processor, whereas the new Nexus 7 has the quad core 1.5 gigahertz Snapdragon S4 Pro processor. Now in terms of of the specs, yes, the Nexus 7 second generation has a much better CPU, but you know, we'd have to see these side by side in terms of performance and benchmarks to really see what differences are between these two. Now in terms of RAM, the iPad mini 512 megabytes of RAM, the new Nexus 7 has two gigabytes of RAM. So you've got four times as much RAM on here. I know it depends on the operating system and we will have to see these hands on, but four times the amount of RAM on the new Nexus 7. Now looking at the different versions that you've got available, you've got these 16 and 32 gigabyte Wi-Fi only versions on the Nexus 7 and you've also got the 32 gigabytes Wi-Fi plus 4G LTE version. So those are the versions that you've got available for the new Nexus 7. The iPad mini, you've got the 16, 32 and 64 gigabyte versions and those are Wi-Fi only, but you've also got options 
for all of those variants in Wi-Fi as well as 4G LTE. So you've got a bit more variety of uh, different devices here at different prices, obviously, of the iPad mini. Now looking at the cameras, the previous Nexus 7 didn't have a rear-facing camera. The new Nexus 7 does have a rear-facing camera, a 5 megapixel rear-facing camera that films at 1080p, the same on the iPad mini, as well as the front-facing cameras, 1.2 megapixels are capable of filming 720p on both of these devices. Looking at the operating systems, now Android versus Apple, that's just gonna go on forever. I'm not gonna go too much into the details. It comes down to personal preference, uh, but the new Google Nexus 7 comes with 4.3 Jelly Bean out of the box, the latest version of Jelly Bean. The iPad mini currently on iOS 6, but with an upgrade to iOS coming very soon. Now touching on some of the additional features that the new Google Nexus 7 does uh, come with NFC, as well as wireless charging, both of which are not available on the iPad mini. Now the batteries, the Nexus 7, they've not made clear what the exact milliamp per hour of the battery on the Google Nexus 7 is, but they're claiming roughly about 10 hours of usage, the same as the iPad mini. Seeing those side by side would be quite useful, but you're looking at roughly about the same amount of usage between these. Finally, looking at price, the iPad mini right now, you can get it for £269 here in the UK or $329 in the US. Now we're looking at the base 16 gigabyte Wi-Fi only version. The uh, Google Nexus 7, the new Google Nexus 7, the US price has been announced $230 roughly and that's for the 16 gigabyte Wi-Fi only version. So we're comparing like for like here with a release date of 30th of July in the US and other markets to follow. Now they've not mentioned any other prices as yet, but in the UK, based on the same pricing structure, I'd expect it to be roughly around about £190. Now, although the new Nexus 7 is priced slightly higher than the old Nexus 7, it is still significantly cheaper than the iPad mini. So it's amazing that even though you've got these masses of specs, they've still managed to keep the price pretty down. So those were the key differences between these two devices. The new Google Nexus 7 boasting some seriously high specs compared to the iPad mini. Now the iPad mini is slightly older. So if you are somebody who wants an Apple device, then I'd advise waiting for the next iPad mini. So the iPad mini 2, but that's still rumored to be a slightly later in the year. But even when that does release, will be at the same pricing range so uh, the new Nexus 7 is still going to be significantly cheaper than the new iPad mini as well so if you are looking for something that's a little bit more on budget with very very high specs then the new Google Nexus 7 is a great option what do you think of the new Google Nexus 7 uh, which one would you go for would you go for the Google Nexus 7 would you go for the iPad mini do drop me a comment below and let me know your thoughts as soon as I have the new Google Nexus 7 a hands-on comparison and review will be coming up on the channel so make sure you are subscribed for that i hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful if you did as always please please do hit that thumbs up button for me it really does help me out and why not subscribe to the channel i've got plenty more content coming up on here including lots of giveaways thanks for watching this is saf on super saf tv and i'll see you next time